Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron and thank you for stopping by. If you've been following my channel for a while now, you know I've gotten into FPV just this year and I've learned a ton on my journey. But there was one thing that kept confusing me, hence I'm making this video. In this video, I'm going to answer just a few questions, things like how do I know when it's time to turn my quad around? And why does everyone keep talking about bitrate instead of signal strength? So let's jump right into it. Now, this is a picture from the DJI Digital FPV System User Manual. You'll notice in the lower left-hand corner of the DJI FPV goggles, you have the transmission channel and the signal strength indicator icon. This indicator shows you the current channel ID you're on and represents the signal strength of the goggles and the DJI FPV air unit. In other words, it's supposed to show you how strong your video link is. However, after reviewing a number of other forums, YouTube videos, and from my own personal experience, the signal strength indicator is not the best source of information because it can be unreliable. Yes, let me say that again. The signal strength indicator can be unreliable. Nearly everyone flying the DJI Digital FPV system will agree that the bitrate indicator or transmission bandwidth is a much better indicator of signal strength. And here's what it's actually gonna look like inside your DJI FPV goggles. Again, your bitrate is gonna show in the lower right-hand corner in megabits per second. In short, watch for when your bitrate starts dropping. And when it drops below 10 megabits per second, it's time to turn around because you're approaching the end of your range. And if you're around five megabit per second or lower, you really are getting into some sketchy territory, so definitely start heading back. Unlike your analog systems, the image quality in your goggles doesn't degrade gradually with a weakened signal. By the time you realize that you're about to lose your signal, it's usually too late. Now with the DJI FPV system, your bitrate stays mostly unchanged when the video link is strong and working properly. Now here's a video from a recent flight that I did in case you're confused by the flight data that you're seeing on screen because it probably doesn't look like what you're used to seeing. Now I cleaned up the .srt file so it's a lot easier to read. The flight data is not gonna look like this unless you use a subtitle editing program like a G like a GS sub. I probably said that wrong. Aegeus Sub is a free download and I'll leave a link below if you wanna check it out. Now, if you go behind a building, a tree, a hill, or a high interference area, the number may drop for a second or two and this is normal bitrate behavior. However, when you're getting to the edge of losing your signal, your bandwidth or your bitrate will continue to stay extremely low. And if you continue to push, you're gonna lose your signal. The goggles will go black for a second. And then you're, all you're gonna get is the DJI logo in the screen. At this point, your quad's more than likely to drop out of the sky. Now your aircraft will fall if either the video or control signal from your remote is lost, unless of course you have a separate GPS chip installed and properly set up for GPS recovery. Now I just picked up the Chimera 4 4S quad, which does have a GPS chip installed, but again, everything has to be set up correctly for this to work. So the message of this video is simple. Keep an eye on your bitrate. Bitrate is your best indicator of how far you should be pushing your quad. I made this video because I was overly concerned about the channel ID and the signal bar indicator going red, the color red. If your channel ID goes red, it's time to start watching your bitrate more closely. So now I understand why people keep saying to keep an eye on the bitrate, but I also understand why DJI flashes the channel ID red in the goggles. It's just a way for them to tell you to keep to start keeping an eye on your bitrate. The only time I would be overly concerned about the channel ID turning red would be if the quads really close to you, in which case you might have a bad antenna in the air unit or in your goggles. Again, only if it's real close and turning red, or the antenna may have come loose from the quad. So you definitely want to check that out before you fly any significant distance from wherever you're standing. To explain all this, I also made a simple chart detailing what you should be looking for in your bit rates. If the channel turns red, again, start watching the bit rate. 20 megabit per second means you're losing performance. And again, start watching your bitrate. 10 megabits, consider turning back. Five megabit per second and below, getting really sketchy. 
You can also go back and re-review this flight if you want. There are a couple of times when the bit rate started to dip significantly. The first time was when I was heading down the river about 30 seconds into the flight. I only had one bar of signal strength and the channel ID had turned red within the goggles. But as you can see, my bit rate was looking pretty good. The second time was around 66 seconds into the video. My bit rate dropped briefly to 14.8 megabit per second as I passed a fence near the baseball infield. Again, only had one bar of signal uh, signal strength at that point. And a third time was around 71 seconds into the flight. The lowest bit rate fell to about 21 megabit per second while at the far end of the field. Again, my channel ID was red in the goggles. And at this point, I started to turn around. Now, I hope you got some value out of this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell for future no video notifications. Until next time, happy flying, take care. And remember in 2020, we still got this.